there, Flo here, and today I bring you a different type of video. I will still be an animated orientated channel, however I wanted to do a one-off video of me playing the newly released Cattails Wildwood Story. If you're interested in seeing more video game content, then head over to my Twitch channel and Discord which will both be linked in the description. Also, just a heads up, I am not a PG YouTuber and there will be swearing in this video. Nothing too serious, but there will be some of the F-bombs dropped and the S-bombs dropped. Be safe and I hope you guys enjoy. God, look at that animation. This is such a cute- I know I saw this like when the game was first announced, but it was so pretty, man. Absolutely in love with it, you know? Oh, that's a mean kitty. <laughs> Why did he just have like particles around him? Is he stinky? I think he's stinky. <laughs> I think that's a- oh, and look at that pan of the art. Like, as someone who played a lot of the original cat ga Cattail games, it is so cool to see how far this game has come. Especially since, like, the developer is so nice as well. But, let's- God, look how round the kittens are. My heart. Whoever drew this did such a good job. But, let's not- delay too much it's time for a new game oh oh yeah i tested out the um customization thing earlier that's as far as i went but oh okay okay we need a name Exactly, exactly. We need a name for our cat. So our last cat in the original game was called Jeans. So I'm thinking, oh god, this time we call him Jorts. <laughs> I think Jorts is a very good name. <laughs> yes. Uh, birthday. Oh, we have a birthday? Holy shit, that is perfect. Thank you, Snake. Thank you. We have a birthday now? Yo. You no, know let's do... Um, on the uh, seventh, close, close-ish to my real birthday, kind of ten days off, and it's in the summer. So, <laughs> right, let's go to the customized thing. So the customized thing is really cool because you can either pick like already made skins, oops, like this, um, which are also very pretty, like white Bengal, black tabby. Um, black calico, bengal, brown calico, lilac tabby, but we also have this option, this little thing. We can custom make a skin. Now if that isn't cool, I don't know what is. This is so cool because like originally in the original game we just had very few skins we could pick from ow I just hit my keyboard by accident um or what you could do was like you could or you could like unlock some skins through codes or in the shops but now we can just make them uh let's go hmm what, what color am i feeling what what color what color do you guys think hmm what's a good base color I like how you can just make neon cats though, that's pretty funny. I'm not gonna do that because I don't want to stare at that, but it would be pretty funny. Um, you know, why not? We'll, we'll just go with a normal brown base for now, I think. Um, wait, can you change? <gasps> oh, wait, you can change the individual. That's cool. Okay, okay, okay. That's pretty cool, I like it. There we go, we'll make the towel a nice brown. Um, you can go all out with this, yeah. So we've got stripes, 
Head stripes, belly, rose. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. We are going to make the fanciest cat ever. So what do the stripes look like? So we've got these stripes. Those are pretty cool. Um, and then we've got these ones. That's quite nice. These ones. Okay. Ooh. Patches. Nice. Nice. And then... We can do... I think some like darker patches would look quite cute. Like a little patchy guy. I mean, Jorts is quite a patchy. Like, Jorts seem like he'd be a little bit... Have patchy fur and stuff. That does seem like a Jort thing. <laughs> um, head stripes. Ooh. Give him, give him some head stripes. Some cute little head stripes. Yes, yes. Um like that belly um for belly we probably want like oh i've made him green i'm so sorry george you don't want to be green give him a nice like creamish belly i think there we go uh ro wait there's rosettes oh. Oh. i do like me some rosettes um oh god wait what's the original color I'm so good at custom making. Um, oops. Can't see me, but I'm just vibing to the music right now. I'm trying to like get it matched up, so I wanna properly. Uh, there we go. I think that's as close as we're gonna get. What do the speckles look like? Oh, the speckles are cute. The speckles are quite cute. So I'm just like dancing to the music. Uh, you guys can't see me, but I'm just doing a little jig. This is such cute little music. Uh, there we go. Okay, okay. Towel tip. We're probably going to want that to be white as well. That nice whitey cream. That's not cream. <laughs> like that. There we go. There we go. Just vibing to your music is very nice. I agree. Point point at what is that like facial wait i'm so confused i'm so confused for what that one does muzzle okay yeah we're gonna give them a nice white muzzle too and nose i guess since that's links <laughs> that's fine oh that's green we don't want green there we go, there we go, that's cute. They're looking cute so far. Um. Okay, ears. I don't care about that much about the ears. We'll make the ears pink. The more pinky colour. Since that's normally when I do designs, I do like little uh, pink ears. So we'll do that, we'll do that. Oh, probably. That does make sense. Right. Oh, wait. Oh, we can give them a mixed match colour ear. That's cute. There we go. Mixed match colour ear. Because that's adorable. And then we got to give them some white paws. There we go. I think... Uh put a bit of colour in there and maybe make the rest more dark I think that'd be really cute after this um stream I'll probably also make an actual design for our jorts hold on let me name <laughs> name the coat the the true name jorts might make um some of the facial stripes a bit darker um so you can see it a bit better like that. Same with the speckles. There we go. There we go. I like how I gave them speckles. Even though I typically hate drawing um, spots. But there we go. I think that's cute. I think our little guy is looking really cute. So we're going to save that. There we go. Jorks. <laughs> right. Let's pick jorks. Wear it. There we go. There's jorks. 
Um, and now we we can actually give Jorts like a scar, a bell, collar, whiskers, round glasses, white flower. Well, you know what? We'll give Jorts a cute little white flower. That's cute. I don't want glasses. That would just be me looking in the mirror every day. Um, eye colour, I mean if if you look around my channel, you can see I might have a bit of a bias to one certain colour. <laughs> so we'll keep that like that. And you know what? I think I think oh, we can make them fluffy. Oh large. Oh my god, he's built like a brick. <laughs> look at him. He's like that muscular cat meme. Oh my god. That's so funny. But I think we'll go with Fluffy, because Fluffy looks cute. Um, maybe um, short face? Short hair on the face, just so it looks a little bit easier on the sprite. He is just like that muscular cat meme. Right, right, sh right ears. Fluffy. Small, <gasps> we can give him small ears. All really big ears. <laughs> Look how fucking big his ears are! Oh my god! <laughs> Bat Kitty, honestly, I might go with. Oh god, he's missing his ears. With the large ear, like the huge ears, because George seems like a cat. That when as when you like you get George as a kitten and his ears are massive, you're like, oh, he'll grow into them, and then he just doesn't. <laughs> He just cursed with long ears. And then we gotta give him there you go. Fluffy up. Fluffy wait. He'll grow into them. Never does. Yeah. It, he's cursed with their big floppy ears. Right? And I'm pretty sure like jeans had quite big ears from my art as well. So it's canon, then Jorts has humongous ears, but guys. I wish you could see my face. I just lit up. You can pick their voices. Wait. Oh. 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 That's one angry cat. Oh my god. I'm gonna cry. I love cat meows so much i think that pitch is quite cute the height of right it just sounds like a little kitten and the fact that i know to get these recorded like that sound they must have recorded an actual cat and that just makes my heart just squeeze like th this is an actual cat i'm hearing i'm going to cry i think that's a good pitch <laughs> that's quite a sassy little meow So what if I said, oh, I'm going, I, this is it. No voice. No, I have to give him a voice. I do quite like the second one. Nope. That one's quite, I like the second one. We'll go with the second one. So apply that. There we go. So I think in terms of Cat Studio, we're done. So his name's Jorts. Born on summer the seventh. Oh, look at look at how perfect he is. He's so fluffy and perfect. Right, it's time. Oh, select your game difficulty and other accessibility options. You can change these later at any time from the in-game pause menu. Oh, you know what? I like how they have just given you the accessibility thing like immediately. You don't have to try and find it. Um, yeah, let's keep it normal. Quick time. Yep. Uh, random enemies. Okay, okay. Oh, oh, they've given us a spider option. I'm turning that off. I hate spiders. <laughs> That's so cool that I appreciate them doing that. And what I like as well, they've given like a font thing. So if you have dyslexia or something, um, because this, I think this is like, uh, this current font is like good. 
Yeah, Simple Sans Serif is one of the good fonts for accessibility. So I like how they did do that an option. Light flashes, uh, that's fine. Auto run, that's fine, yeah. I can deal with not running. <laughs> Would you like to skip the intro or play the intro? Play the intro, I remember nothing. Once upon a time, free, oh look at this art, sorry. This art's so pretty. Again, like such an improvement from the first game. It's just so cool to see how far this game series has come. Once upon a time, three great cat colonies lived in a plentiful land. For generations they thrived, hunting the critters of the region and harvesting the fruits of the forest. Sometimes the colonies bickered and fought. George def uh, not George, Jeans definitely fought. <laughs> he had like world domination plans. But each of their leaders shared a respect for the spiritual mediator of their world, the forest guardian. Oh god, I love, I love, look there she is. The word of the guardian was law, and all cats revered them. From the sacred temple, the guardian kept the balance over the cat lands, working for the benefit of all. Oh, look at that pretty kitty sketch. I love this style. It's so cute. The cats of the forest thrived. They played in the meadows and ruled over the hills. They built strong walls and gathered prey for winter. Oh, that's not great. But one fateful day, calamity struck. In an instant, the temple was shattered. A terrible earthquake tore the stone from their ancient resting places. God, look at that art. That's just so cool, man. Like, that's so pretty, but RIP the palace. L. A horrible rift was opened in the ground. Every cat shuddered with fear. No! Worse than the destruction of the land was the fading of its guardian. Oh, look, and she's actually, they're actually fading. I'll cry. I love the guardian. They're so cool. With a weak voice, the forest guardian announced that the land was no longer safe for any cat. A new home must be found, and a new temple, temple, temple must be built, or else the guardian spirit would not survive. Then the spirit of guardian, the spirit of the guardian, flickered and vanished. The frightened cats mourned and did not know what to do. A great meeting was called, and all of the cats of the forest attended. Together, they deliberated long over what must be done. Once again, love the sketchy style for the flashback. Such a cool thing. Like props, I'm gonna like look up artist credits after this and I'm just gonna just fangirl over their art basically. The, de ugh, the decision was reached that each cat should choose for themselves a leader to follow and set out to find new lands to settle. The art is so beautiful, I agree. Maybe some would have the strength to build a better life. You, George, a cat of great renown, offered to lead a group into the unknown and build both a new home, a new temple. <laughs> Sorry, I'm laughing. It's just like such a holy imagery. Like, look how ho Warwick. It's obviously meant to be like a really cool thing to hype up your character. And it's just you, George. <laughs> I'm crying. I... <laughs> yeah, I guess this is the downside of naming your cat a funny name. Soon, cats from every colony took up your call. Once enemies, now united by a common cause, you all set out to find a patch of earth to call your own. But the wilderness is fraught with danger, and there are threats on all sides. What will you what will become of your colony? This is why you always pick funny names. That is true. Will you lead them into a prosperous new era? Will you find the perfect place to build a home? Only time will tell. Ooh. 
god. <gasps> Ooh! Oh, don't tell me. Ah! Not Coco! Not again! Not the bullying again! I have flashbacks. Oh god. Jeans, Jeans is just quaking in the corner somewhere. <laughs> Hopefully, Jorts does not have the same issues with Coco. Another day, another campsite to establish. This looks good as a place as any. Flat ground and good hunting nearby, according to the scouts. Let's all work together to ensure that we have adequate shelter and food before it gets dark. Oh, do we really have to set up camp again? Oh, you're a new cat. Oh, you're pretty. Spark's a cute name as well. We just did that yesterday. When are we finally... When are we going to finally pick a place to settle down and stop moving all the time? I'm too tired to help out. My paws are sore. Well, I'm pretty sure everyone's paws are probably sh uh, a bit sore, Spark. Ooh! <gasps> Jack! Oh, his art looks so pretty. Will you quit your belly aching and lend a paw already? The job won't ever get done with that attitude. We'll settle down once we find the right spot. Haven't found anywhere that's got the right resources to keep us going. Jorts will tell us when we've arrived. Isn't that right, Jorts? Of course Jorts will make an announcement when you find our, no we find our new home. For now, we've got to keep looking. Oh God, I love the kind of like energy this game is having. It was like starting your own colony with some cats. I know, it just feels like... I know, I love the aura <laughs> it's just having. Like, I'm someone that absolutely loves certain vibes of storytelling and whatnot. And like, this has got like a really cool scenario for lore and stuff. I'm loving this. We've all survived a difficult winter. Now that spring is here at last, our luck may finally turn for the better. I suspect it will soon. <gasps> Ember! Spark, we really could use your help. Where are you going to sleep if the shelter is not built? You're not my little kitten. Oh wait, is Spark Ember's kitten? Oh, that's so cute! My little kitten anymore. You're an adult. We all need you to pitch in if you want to be treated like one. Oh, we've got a little family! Hey, Jorts, I'm going to go out and hunt. In the meantime, do you suppose you could help Spark feel better? I think Spark would cheer right up if they had some valerian uh, to energise them. It's a pink herb that grows around here. Always puts a spring in my step. I saw a huge cluster of valerian just south of here across the brook. All right, I'm heading out to find some dinner. Remember, the val valerian is just south. Best of luck to you. Bye-bye, Coco. I hope nothing terrible happens to you. Oh, look at us. Look at us move. Look at us go. I want to talk to Ellie. Hi, Ellie. Oh, that was a weird sound. <laughs> I'm not slacking off. I'm busy organising supplies. So many things to sort. Oh, that's such a cute little face. Oh, God, I... Comparing, like, the art from the last game to this game, it's just so... It's so cool to see, like, the improvement of the character portraits. They're so pretty. And so expressive as well. I thought for sure we had... Uh, I heard you were going to find some Valerian for sport. Spork? Spark. I thought for sure we had some in the supply crates. But now I can't find it anywhere. Guess you'll have to pick up some fresh Valerian instead. Spork. Pause. That's going to be my nickname for Spark. Just Spork. <gasps> Crampy! By my beak! It's Jorts! Come to check on me, I suspect. Yes, that is prudent. I don't know what that word means, Crampy. God, I love you, Crampy. I'm so glad you made it in this game. For Crampy, is always up to something interesting. And today is no exception. God, look at it. Oh, look at his mask. Oh, it's so cool. I'm, I am making remarkable strides in my research into the properties of peppermint plant. Great discoveries await, and I must not be distracted by anything until its secrets are revealed. I love you, Crampy. Please never change. Yeah, I think that's all the cats we have for now. I think we can get more cats. I'm pretty sure. God knows. Ooh. We'll swim. Oh, there's the uh, water thing. 
Oh, is that the Valerian? Oh, it is. Okay, so Valerian has, like, changed um, since the last game. Julie, no. Oh, look at the leaf flying in the wind. Oh, off it goes. Oh, my headphones are just falling out. <laughs> Get back here. Right, got them back in. Oh. <laughs> Uh, talk to Spartan, gift the gift of Valerian. What's that smell? Smells like Valerian? Did you find some jorts? Would you consider maybe giving me a little? I really think it would help my headache. Open your inventory and select the bearer, uh, then give it a spark. How do I? Oh, Q. This is your inventory. Here you can view all of the items that you are currently carrying. Select the Valerian and press E to hold it in your mouth. Then close your inventory and give it to Spark. E. Ow! I'm, hold I'm, hold I'm holding it. That's pretty cute. Right, here you go. Give Valerian. Oh, you know what? I'm feeling better already. I can do this now that my headache's gone. I'm ready to help build the shelter. Thanks, Jorts. Sorry for being such a stick in the mud earlier. Honestly, I do not blame Spark. I know if I had the traumatizing thing of my home literally blowing the fuck up and then I had to travel a bunch, I would not be a happy bunny either. Like, I would be such a, a loser to be around. Thank you for your assistance, Jorts. I'm glad you found that herb. All cats appreciate a thoughtful gift. Giving out items that you find is a wonderful way to make friends. So true, so true. Now we can continue working on the shelter. We'll take it from here. Oh. God, oh God, God goes back. Oh, he's angry. <laughs> I love, oh God, I love how there's sound effects now to the cats. That wasn't, that wasn't a thing in the original game. Like, it's so cool to see where the game has improved and she become so much more fleshed out. I'm, I'm getting like so like all the happy feelings are just swelling up in my chest right now those pesky slippery mice oh everything over, oh, okay over there coco you're looking a little stressed out you know <laughs> chag i think yeah i regret to inform you that i have returned empty-handed today does not seem to be my day Perhaps someone else could try their luck. After all, we need to catch some food or we're all going to be very hungry. Jorts, you've always been an excellent hunter. That is not true. <laughs> Would you care to accompany me? I'd be more than happy to point out where I smelled some prey. Yes, I think this will work splendidly. The mice are just east through the forest and then a little south. I'll lead the way. Oh, we're running, we're running. Oh, hello. No. Oh! Oh, the wind's pushing me back. Oh, okay. Oops. Thanks for agreeing to help, Jorts. Between the two of us, we'll catch plenty of prey in no time. Now, there's just the small matter of this dreadful breeze holding us back. Seems this narrow pathway has created something of a wind tunnel. It's picked up since I returned. Do you feel it, Jorts? The gusts are low to the ground. I suspect that heart, that well, that a well-timed dodge may be enough to avoid them entirely. Why don't you try to dodge the wind gu gusts and push ahead? Press control to perform a dodge. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's cool. We can actually dodge now. Excellent work, George. The clearing where I saw the mice is just to the south. I'll meet you there. Hold on. I see a flower. Yoink. Ooh, thistle. That's a new plant. That wasn't in the game originally, I don't think. Or the, um, older. Ooh. <laughs> that was a weird way to get round. Do you smell it, George? There's a mouse hiding somewhere around here. I smell nothing. Never mind. Found it. There, it's a mouse. Now's our chance. First, you need to sneak so it won't see you coming. Get nice and close. The closer you are, the higher chance of your success. But don't get too close. If you do, the mouse, the mouse will notice you and run away. Once you're near, pounce. 
you're successful, you've caught the mouse. If not, you can always try on another mouse. Good luck to you, George. Press shift. Okay. Cool. Ooh. ooh. I like how, like, when you're, um... Why is the mouse so cute? Yeah. Yeah. But I like how when you shift now, you get, like... It, like, darkens and stuff. That's a cool little detail. Ooh. Oh, look, you can see, like, how far, roughly. Oh, God! I did not know about the timed game. <laughs> bravo, bravo, you caught it. Great work, Jorts. Turns out all I needed was a buddy, because I caught one, too. Now we... Okay. What the fuck was that sound? That's new. That Yeah, that, like, that's a new... That's a new... That definitely makes hunting a lot more interesting. Speaking of hunger, hunger, hunger. I think I just heard your belly rumble. Was that a belly rumble? That did, it sounded like Jorts had like snorted or something. Snorted the mouse. You must be famished from all the work you've been doing today. When was the last time you had a bite to eat? Good thing you have that mouse. You should probably eat it now so you won't starve. You can view your hunger bar on the lower left hand corner. It looks like a fish. Wait, I didn't notice that. Hold on, hold on. Yes, I know how to. Oh my god, it is a fish! That's so cute! Oh! Let's get the mouse. And then. Ah. Oh, a tasty mouse. Mind the whiskers. Oh, okay. Hold on. Oh, we have a, like an actual relationship uh, thing now. Because, like, beforehand, we didn't have a relationship log. You just have to go to each cat to see where you stand. But now we have, like, uh, a relationship log. Like, Stardew Valley. That's a, that's a nice feature. Oh, and you can see when you've spoken to them and if you've given them a gift. That's cool. And then I'm guessing, yeah, these are, like, quests. That's Thank God we have a quest log. I constantly forgot stuff I had to do in the um, old one. And then... Nom. Oh, look at it. He did a little dance. That's so cute. That looked like it was tasty. Remember to always pay attention to your hunger. <laughs> if anyone knows me, I'm not very good at paying attention to that. The amount of times I've starved in Minecraft, man. Oh, what the hell? Wait a minute. What on earth is that? I don't like the look of that. What if it's dangerous? I don't like the look of it either. We should investigate before we head back. Think you could go... Why do I have to check it out? <laughs> like, George has turned away. George doesn't want to go. Oh, God. Bye-bye. I will tell them you said hi. Thank you, thank you. God, I don't know if I want to go near. I want to lick it. Oh! <laughs> Why has it got... Oh! Oh, it's a cat. Hello. Oh! Uh-oh. That doesn't look friendly. It looks like you're on your own for this fight. I can't get you through this wall. Jump. 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 You're a cat, man. Jump. Just jump. You can literally just jump. You can do it, Jorts. Keep a level head and I'm sure you can win. I'll give you some pointers. You can use your claws... I'll probably say... Be careful to stay out of the way of its attacks. Be quick and agile to avoid taking damage. Press space to attack. Defeat the void link as we close. Okay. Woof! Woof. I'm not very good at not taking damage, admittedly. Ow! Get out of here. Nicely done, George. You made a quick work of that thing. Whatever it was. Oh no, looks like you've got company again. Watch out. Not more. No! What the? I don't like the arm things that come out. Oh, that one's blue. Two of them this time. What are we going to do? Oh, I've got it. You may find it easier to defeat them with a charged attack. You can wind up your attacks to unleash a more powerful variant and launch yourself into the battle. Try it out, Jorts. Hold space to charge it. Mm -hmm. Don't touch me! Ow! I said don't touch me! Fuck you. Okay, spamming the button, best way to go. 
You showed them. Well done, George. And the path to the campsite is open again. I think when you defeated those void link cats, the shadowy wall went away too. What do you think of those things were? Oh, God knows, man. Why did they attack us? We'll need to report this to the others. They should know if there's danger around. Let's head back to the campsite and let everyone know what happened here. Oh, it void marrow. What the hell is void marrow? A writhing pile of shadowy essence. It gives you an uneasy feeling. It's still moving? Why, George, don't touch that. <laughs> That's not something you want. God. All right. I saw a, something cool. Where? There it is. Is that a strawberry? It's a raspberry. That's cool. Hold on. A modest be red berry that pop with a... Okay. Movement speed. Swimming for a short time. Okay. Also, the plants give more of a buff this time. So, like, most of the other plants were just, like, running or for health. Uh, or hunger. But I guess this time you could actually get more buffs. That's cool. Attacked by angry shadow, shadowy cats. That doesn't sound good. What if they're still out there, lurking in the forest just beyond the camp? What if we aren't safe? Jack is right. That sounds dangerous. Oh, what are we going to do? Strange voidling cats, you say? How intriguing! What a wondrous opportunity! I would love to spot one for myself so I could research its behaviours and properties. Hmm. Well, I've got some of its remains, if you want, Crampy. The good news is, is that George was able to defeat them. That means we stand a chance, right? Whatever they are, they aren't invincible. I'm sure, I sure would like to learn more about them before the next time we encounter one. Oh god, my reading ability today. Oh, sparkles. <gasps> it's the Guardian! Yay! Oh, their art is so pretty. Oh, look at the, like, their text box is all different and galaxies, like, starry. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, wait, it's actually flickering as well. Oh, this is so cool. And I love how, like, her ears faded in as well. God. For real, props to the artist that did the, um, portraits. Greetings, Jorts. Greetings, all mortal cats. I cannot long manifest my presence here, but I've chosen this moment to appear before you all with fateful news. Oh? It's the forest guardian. We are honored to be in your presence, great guardian spirit. I have missed you dearly these past few months. We all have. It is good to see you again, Coco, my old friend. Soon my power will wane once more. Without a temple constructed, I have no place to tether myself to the physical realm. But I've come with cheerful tidings. Tomorrow you all will settle in your new, permanent home. I have foreseen it. We are not far now. Then a new temple shall be constructed. And I shall abide with you all once more. A permanent settlement. Oh, this is wonderful. I think I speak for all of us when I say that we are ready to be home at last. But what of the Voidling cats? Is it safe to build our town so close to such a threat? Do not fear the Voidling cats. Dangerous though they may be, I will teach you to overcome their power. Their very presence is the reason why I believe we must settle here. In time, you will understand. In ages long past, this region was known as Wildwood. It has been unhin in in unhabited. Oh my god, brain? Unhibited. I'm just going to touch that word. My brain's not liking it today. Since time immemorial. Immor immorial? Oh god. When I felt the presence of the Voidling cats, I had a sudden premonition, 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 there we go, premonition, there is some good that we'll be able to accomplish here. It is no mistake that you've journeyed to this land. 
Jules, I will teach you how to speak with my voice so you will have the power over the poor boy. Yo, we're getting a skill from God. Let's go. George really is God's favourite little guy. God's funny little favourite little fe fella. The skill I'm about to teach you is known as Lion's Roar. Use it when danger is near and your om enemies will scatter. I like that, like, added lore onto that specific ability. Because in the original game, I think you just got it. Um, and it's, it wasn't that important. But it, feel, it feels, I don't know, just kind of cool that you get it now from the actual forest guardian who is a lion. I don't know. I just like that really small detail of lore. Skills are powerful abilities that will aid you as you play. You can learn and improve many different skills over time. Uh, yeah, blah, 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 blah. Fine lines draw on uh, You can view your equipped skills in the lower half corner. Fine lines draw and activate it to continue. There it is. Unleash a primal roar that will cause nearby boiling cats and some other enemies to flee for a short time. Other enemies? You mean we don't just have spooky shadowy cats? That's nice. Right, let's do a big, let's get front and center and do a big roar. Oh, that's cool. You have done well, George. With time and experience, you'll be able to improve Lion's Rule and use it to even greater effect. I have every confidence that you'll be able to overcome the challenges that lie ahead. That sounded terrific, George. If I were a Voidling Cat, I'd be quaking in my boots. Is it true that we're going to finally have a home for ourselves? I can't wait to see it. I have to admit, 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 as much as I like seeing the world, it would be nice to build a shop and slip back into daily routine after all this time. I've gathered quite a large inventory while we've been journaling. It's getting harder and harder to bring it with me when we move. I'm ready to stay in one place. Yes, it would be nice for me to have a sterile environment to treat my parent, pa parents, patients. I could have a cl clinic again at long last. Do you have any idea how hard it is to treat a wounded cat while on the road? Oh, you mean all that work I did to build, I did building the shelter was for nothing? We won't even need it after tomorrow? That's okay though, I won't mind having a real home again. And it sounds like we are agreed. Next, we should have Jorts decide exactly which part of what the Wildwood we should settle in. I have the latest Scouts report right here. These are the spots I'd make for a suitable home. Which one will it be? Ooh! Okay. Meadow. Gentle winds through this flowery... F a gentle river win win winds through this flowery field. A mysterious swamp overrun with wild willows and weeds. Oh, we can live at a beach. An inland lagoon surrounded by sandy beaches and tropical vegetation. A volcano! <laughs> wow, George is about to get the most wildest suntan. Dark basalt rock. I think... Um, I think for now, we'll just go with the forest. You know, f first game... I uh, don't really want to live near a river. Right, settle here. That looks like an ideal spot to settle. Great choice, George. Do you think if we picked the volcano one, everyone being like, what the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> now that we have a home, we're starting to feel like a real colony again. What are we going to call ourselves? <gasps> oh, oh shit, it's naming stuff. Oh no. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not the best at naming colonies admitted or naming anything admittedly it's pretty cute so our bad kingdom the our bad kingdom i like the sound of that at first light tomorrow we will travel to our new home let's all hear a cheer for jorts monarch of the our bad kingdom oh Ooh. And here it is, our kingdom. 
So there, there's Crampy. We know where Crampy is. That's all that matters. Here we are, home at last. We've all worked very hard to establish the town, haven't we? This is your new den, George. I hope the location is all right. If not, you can always move it later. Inside you'll find it. Scratch and post to train your skills. Oh, oh, I wanted to go into my mailbox, but okay, wait. Oh, I see, I see, okay. Oh, I think for now, I think the deep cuts is a good one. Especially since I'm not very good at uh, fighting. Uh, quick hit there. There we go. Oops. No. Oh, I like the sound effect then. The sound, de sound design of this game has definitely improved. <gasps> Ooh, jar. What's, what, what's this? As you gaze, you see an image of the skies appear. <gasps> Today, expect clear skies all day long. Right now... Oh, tomorrow I expect clear skies all day long. Oh, so it's like the TV thing. That's cool. And this is like where we... Our inventory, I'm guessing? Yeah, this is where we can put stuff. Okay, okay. Uh, and this is the calendar. <gasps> it's Coco's birthday soon? Hey, yo. Wait, the cats have birth... I didn't even click that the fact that we picked a birthday means there are birthdays now. Oh, I'll cry. I will actually cry. Th this means so much to me. And I'm guessing we can, like, get music. That's cool. I love collecting music in games. Right, let's, let's go EP. Curling up in our bed. Game progress auto-saved. And we've got 50 more. Wait, does that mean we can uh, get a new skill already? <laughs> yes, it does. All right. Um, in that case, I'm gonna get the return home one. Uh, just cause that's just very in that's just very convenient. There we go. Nice. Starting off some good skills. Oh, oh, we got we got uh, find your new car. Oh, we got an achievement. Yo. Good morning, George. How did you sleep? There's one final thing we need to do before the Our Bad Kingdom is officially moved in. We need to construct a new temple so that Forest Guardian has a place to live. Without the Forest Guardian, we won't have guidance and protection from the harsh wilderness around us. Come on, let's pick a spot for the temple to be built. <gasps> <laughs> ah! <laughs> Hi, Keo. Meow. Hi. I forgot Meow. moderators can talk in this. That was a jump scare. Good morning. Hello. I'm Krongi. You're Krongi? I'm say good morning. Oh, thank you. Thank you. That's very sweet of you. Uh -huh. That was such a okay, jump goodbye scare. Now. Okay, bye, Keo. <laughs> <laughs> She's gone. Just like that. Crying. Oh my god. <laughs> right, where were we? Come on, let's pick out the spot for the temple to be built. This is the Founder's Stone. From here, you can manage all details of our kingdom. You can move buildings, view our stockpiles, change administrative details. It's an important place for the monarch to visit often. We're going to use the Founder Stone to place the temple. Speak a pop spot, any open plot will do. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, wait, so we can place where shit is? That's cool. Oh, okay, okay. Can we zoom out? No. Let's get a good look of everywhere. Because we want it to be in, like, a nice spot right here so no one can leave that way because this is like an important building you know um what the hell is that god knows maybe um i think we'll be 
it did i think we can move stuff because what i'm thinking is maybe putting it like here i think that's a cool place at the top and in the middle great work you've placed the temple close the build menu okay um Can I move that? I can. Okay, lovely jubbly. I'm gonna, I'll move that down here. There we go. I, th I literally don't know what that is. I want to know what that is. Uh, confirm changes. There we go. That's an awesome spot for the temple. Now we're officially moved in. It feels surreal, doesn't it? You should take some time to get acquainted with our new home. Walk around town. Or take a trip out to the wilderness. I'm, cert I'm certain you'll find something to do. There's plenty of good hunting and lots of herbs to forage outside of town. I'm sure everyone would love it if you'd stop by to say hello too. Right, right. We've got mail. I want to see what, who's mail. Greeting, comrade. Hello there, Jorts. Wait, we get letters from the NPCs? That's so cute. Crampy here. I'm writing to let you know that my cl clinic is now open for business. If you need medical assistance, keep me in mind. I can patch anything. Almost anything. Someday I'll be able to remove this <laughs> disclaimer. <laughs> I'm crying. I love him. Grand opening. How are you, Jorts? I'm thrilled to announce that the general store is now open. If you're looking for something in particular, let me know and I'll be happy to help. I can also buy your items if you need some muse. Outstanding service is my aim. Hello, Jorts. Well, we finally arrived. Our new... This is our new home now. Isn't it amazing? Let's all do our part to ensure our success now that we've chosen the spot to settle down. I'm be more excited to see what's in store for us all. Yo. Alright, first things first. I want to see... What that weird thing over here was. What are you? I'm gonna... Oh, we can craft stuff. I can turn that into plant food. I don't know if I want to turn that into plant food. Okay, that's cool. And then what's this here? Just a storage area. Okay, okay. That's pretty neat. That's pretty neat. Oh, look at the running animation from the front. That's it's like such a big improvement from the last one. Where is everyone? <laughs> okay. Oh, and the bubble gets smaller. That's cute. I was wondering how like it looks. Can we go in here? Oh, mole cave. Oh. <laughs> Hi. Oh, look at him! Eh, what's all the noise up here? I'm trying to take my break for crying out loud. Then you come along and trample all over the ceiling like you are in the plane place. Hmm. You must be the new guy. Corporate sent you, right? Let's see those claws of yours, okay? <laughs> yeah, me too, Jorts. What do you mean you're not from corporate? The things I have to put up with. Look, here's the deal. I've got a mind to run. We're falling behind schedule. We've got quotas to meet, deadlines, the whole shebang. It's not like me to grovel, so I won't. But we could use your help anyways. Listen, I don't like this any more than you do. <laughs> I love Molo. You see that cave behind me over there? Yeah, that one. It's got ores, gemstones, riches beyond your wildest dreams. Yep, it's all true. I just need workers to dig them out and bring them back to me so I can ship them off to corporate. Those claws look sharp enough to break up the boulders and retrieve their contents. The deeper you dig, the better the items you can find. I'll pay you in mole cash for any items you can um, excavate. The rarer the items, the more I'll pay. Alright, that's enough onboarding for now. Go find me some gems already, alright? <laughs> Sobbing. I'll come back. I want to know what you sell. Headlamp? Ooh, okay, that's cool. Greedy poor. Oh, okay, that's also uh, stonework. 
Okay. You also get prey. Lavender. Blackberries. Power. Oh, power paw is good. Eye patch. Captain hat. Pet firefly. Anvil. Pet rock debris. An ordinary rock. You shouldn't expect much from it. Wait a second. Did it just move? That's so funny. Oh, music disc. Treasure hoard beds. That's okay. Got some cool. You sell some cool things, Mo Molo. Right, well, we'll check that out at some point then. I'm guessing this is Crampy's area. It must be. Oh, Coco! Is Coco not feeling well? Good. Ah, uh, um, Jorts. Please, do please mind your steps and keep your voice down. We don't want to wake the sleeping patient now, would we? This is, of course, the clinic. I use this space to treat the sick and wounded. What the fuck is that, Crampy? In the background. Are those leeches? I think they're leeches. When I'm not active duty, I like to run scientific experiments in my storage room in the back. Word of advice, stick clear of that space if you wish to keep your whiskers intact. Oh, Coco's up. Meow, oh! That was some nap. I feel like a new cat. You were right, Crampy. All I needed was a little sleep and my head up cleared up on its own. Thank you for your advice. I'll take my leave now. Bye, Coco. Jorts, if you are ever feeling ill, do what I did. Come see Dr. Crampy. We will be back to full health in no time. Good day. Bye, Crampy. Not Crampy, Coco. <laughs> Another glowing review. You should have seen Coco me a minute ago. Complaining of a splitting headache, head pain. I deduced that Coco was working too hard and simply needed rest. It seems I was correct. Well, now you've seen the clinic, and now you know what I do best. Like Coco said, if you're ever feeling under the weather, come see me, and I can treat you almost any melody. Malady. Oh, I like how we can, like, understand stuff now. Can we access stuff in here? Oh, no. Wait. Oh, wait. This is, like, Crampy's room. Oh, this is cool. We can actually see the vi like they actually have rooms. Like in the first game, you couldn't go in their house, but now you can. That's so cool. I love that. Oh, here's the uh, experiment. God, that's a lot. How many fucking leeches do you need, Crampy? Oh my god, that's so many. God, no wonder he was like, only come in uh, unless you want to lose a whisker. Um. Oh wait, no. I wanna. I wanted to give him this. Um. Because he he said he wanted to research it, so I'm wondering if he would like it. By my beak. That's an amazing specimen. Yep, I knew it. I knew it. We got we got to make Crampy our friend. It's very important. God, I love Crampy so much. Oh, hi Jag. I'm Jag. I used to live in the northern mountains back before the big move to the wildwood. Never thought I'd leave home, but here I am. Lots of good memories back there. Hopefully I can make some new ones out here and get over it. I'm going to try and keep an eye on things around town for you. Some cats got to keep the peace and watch out for petty crimes and all that. I'll do my best to keep quiet and stay out of your way as I go about my duties. Let's chat. My old colony was a great place to live until it wasn't. <laughs> yeah, yeah. How it be sometimes, man. I'm not going to go into detail, okay? Suffice to say, things went south quickly and I got out. Oh, that doesn't actually sound that good. If you end up being a poor monarch, I won't hesitate to do it again. Okay. This is Jags then. It's probably best you don't walk in uninvited until you get more acquainted. Looks dark and cave like. There's some tall pointed rocks scattered around. It doesn't seem very cozy. Oh, I'm guessing we can just go in Crampy's den because he's a doctor, but good to know. Who's this? 
This is Ellie's den. You shouldn't go inside. Okay, yeah, yeah, okay, get it, get it. So that's where Ellie lives. But where is Ellie? There she is. Hi, Ellie. What's up, Jorts? Something on your mind? Oh, so, oh yeah, Ellie in the first game, you could use her to change your name. I guess that's still the same now. There's so many baby animals out in the forest. It makes my heart happy to see them all running. To see them all running about with their families. Oh, that's cute. Oh, uh, so, oh, Coco has a... Oh, so Coco's like more of the befriendable NPC this time around. Manage colony details. What does that mean? Oh, okay. So we can change stuff if we wanted. Oh, Coco. Oh, I want to talk to you. Coco. <laughs> Let's chat. The citizens of our proud kingdom deserve every possible advantage. That's why we've got to make our claim as strong as possible and fast. So true, Coco. So true. I keep forgetting I can run places. So this must be where... Em oh, cutscene. Hey, Ember. I found this peppermint and I was wondering how much I could sell it for. Hello, Jag. I can offer you five mews for that. Have you ever tried rubbing some peppermint in your fur? I've heard it can mask your scent and make it easier to hunt. Wait, I can use this peppermint to make it easier to catch prey? Wow, I haven't thought of that. Maybe I'll keep it. Might try to track down a rabbit later. I'm getting hungry just thinking about it. <laughs> you know, I sell peppermint here at the shop. Are you interested in purchasing, purchasing some extra? Ooh, Embers. Um smooth with that self advertising after all a rabbit can be pretty tricky so you might as well make sure you're fully prepared <laughs> you're right i better make sure i'm ready before i leave to town to hunt i'll take three. Oh, she's purring that's great good doing business with you another happy customer Does she not have a towel? Oh no, she does. Oh look, it's Jorts. Welcome to my shop. I have lots of useful items for sale. Feel free to browse any time by speaking with me. You can also speak with me to sell your extra items and news. I'll just buy about anything you don't need. Well, have a look around and let me know if you have any questions. I'll always be happy to help. Very nice. This is, I like how this is set up too. Wait, why does she have an actual fucking bed? Ember? Jeez, Ember's sleeping bougie. Oh, is this Spark's room? Oh, it must be. Spark has a... What? What's up? Catch any bugs today? You like bugs, okay? Julie noted, Spark likes bugs. Cats don't usually come over. Maybe we can play tic-tac-toe beans. If only. Oh, you've got like mounted bugs things? That's a bit creepy, I'm not gonna lie. Why well, you got it on the floor, man? Okay, okay. I'm not really sure. Are these meant- I think these are meant to be windows, I'm pretty sure. But, I'm sure. And then this is, um, the storage area. Oh my god, that's so many rats. Or mice, sorry. Let's talk to Ember. Oh, we can't actually talk over the- that makes sense. Run a um, good store called Ember's Emporium. I hope you'll stop by for all your shopping needs. Also, if you see Spark, you can tell them that their shift started an hour ago. Being as a pet, being a parent is tough when your kid is so flighty. That's so cute. Let's see what you've got. So modest. All right, get more inventory. Powerport mouse. Minnow, golden seal, marigold, tiger butterfly. Fancy rug. Campfire. Oh, <gasps> mushroom bundle? <gasps> Dry oh, bro, I'm about to go so cottage core in my house. You guys don't even know. Oh, litter box. Nice. Oh, the blanket. Okay, okay, cool. And then let's actually sell. Um, yeah, we'll sell both of these for now. Get some money in our bag. Right. Who's the last... Have I seen everyone? <gasps> so, 
sorry but ladybug had to happen had to be this way oh look at our little run right let's go um oh there's another ladybug oh it's, is it gone now no it's not well yeah it was oh sorry ladybug it's over for you i want to make friends uh there you go yeah still getting used to some of the controls but we know that spark likes bugs so i'm gonna give spark this you are the best jorts yay spark likes it well there we go and let's actually go into our relationship tracker we gave crap oh yeah we did give crampy a gift i already forgot about that okay cool and we've Oh, we haven't spoken to uh oh we haven't actually spoken to ember and crampy yet we've got to make sure we do that because i think that helps raise the relationships as well i always dream about hosting a big party in this space i know it's not much but i think i could make it work don't you love it when you get together with a big group of friends yeah, it is that is pretty that is pretty cool it's pretty cool and fun we all right let's go down to crampy that's not Grampy. That's the mole. Oh yeah, we didn't even look at this. Oh. <laughs> Here's the task board. A place where community members supposed to request. So what would you like to do? Um. Oh, there's a shop. <gasps> uh. Okay. Pray. What the hell? What could this strange novelty item bring? Bring it to the curio identification table in the museum. We have a museum. I don't think we've unlocked the museum yet. I'm not going to lie. Glasses. I like how you can give your cat glasses. We can get a cat plushie. No, that's just... Crab. Pet wolf spot. I, I was so confused. I was like, why is it... Why is it circle? And then I remembered the thing. The accessibility setting. Thank God. I don't, pet, I don't like wolf spiders. They're scary. Bird cat. That's... A magpie? Celestial lamp, certificate. I like how you can buy a certificate, it's pretty funny. Um, what's the daily task? Collect, we can try doing that. Oh, I just realized there's a little mini map so you can actually see where people are. That's cool, I'm glad they did that because I get lost. I've only just noticed that. Let's chat. I would be delighted to welcome you into my personal quarters, Jorts. It is a great honour to sit in one's home with the monarch of Albade Kingdom. Albad Kingdom. And chat for a spell. Aw, Crampy. I'm scared of your living quarters. <laughs> right, let's go. Let's go actually explore outside. M. Yeah. Oh, so now before, so we've got like a custom map now. That's cool. Got a desert, right? Together, conch things. We want to go down. Collect flowers. So we got. Oh, we got some catnip. Very lovely. Licorice. I think that's how you say that. Ba Badlands maze. Well, I don't get lost because, man, do I get lost? B! 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 Oh, no, it's a ladybug. Oh, well. Still, yoink. Don't mind if I do. <gasps> Fuck you! Oh god. Okay. Whoa. Ah! Oh. That's unfortunate. No! <laughs> Jorts! Your vision flickers out as you fall to the ground. This cannot be the end, can it? You must keep fighting. The depth of your dark dreams, you hear the muffled sound of a familiar voice calling out. 
Whoops. I'm so sorry, George. Goodness me, George. You're awake. Excellent. We were looking pretty bad when we found you. Lucky we got to you and we did. But never fear, I've patched up your injuries. A little rest has done you some good. Hmm? I'll just need to assess you once more before I set you loose. You may have dropped some f Oh. Alright, you look fine to me. Stay safe out there, Jorts. I'd hate to see you in that awful state again. No! I lost everything! Not my money! <laughs> I could have dealt... Well, I don't think I lost everything, did I? Did I? No. I could have dealt with losing all of my stuff. But my money... That's cruel and twists his game. Well, whoops. <laughs> oh wait, no, we could get it. <gasps> Ooh, what are you? Nice. Yoink. What are you? Hold on. We got a wren, a small brown bird. Ooh. Oh, that was close. Is that still right? No, this is a thrush. A bird with a speckled pattern on its belly. Okay, okay. We birding. We birding out. Yoink. Sorry, man. It was over for you. It's Jova for you. I am... I do like this hunting system. A lot more than the first game. I did struggle sometimes with the first game. Um, nothing for like the first game's fault. First game is still good. Oh, you're new, I think. Yeah. But like, it gives you like a proper chance. There we go, sparrow. We've got a sparrow before, haven't we? Oh no, a tiny brown bird with a reddish hue. Is that still a sparrow? No. Oh shit. No! Devastating. Shit. Okay. I'm still not good at this game, but you know what? That's fine. Ooh, marigold. Nice. You win some, you lose some, you know? Ooh, it's something we haven't encountered yet over here. <gasps> crab! I want to get the crab. Nice. Ow! They get you? <laughs> oh god, I've been chased down by a crab. No! No! Ah! <laughs> Run. Run away from the crab. Oh god. He's after me. Okay, bear in mind, crabs are dangerous. And they will... Oh my god, he is on a mission of getting me. Sir. Got some coral. He's still chasing me. Oh my god, help. Terrifying. No. Is that a conch? No. <laughs> well, we know to be careful of the crabs now, at least. So I, I guess there is that. What on earth is this over here? Oh, it's gone. Is that a lizard? Nice. Yeah, it is. That's cool. Let's get this frog as well. Yoink! That's not what we want either. Oh, let's get the thing. Um, hold on, let me go in my inventory because I'm pretty sure we have marigold. Oh, there's different things with marigolds. Oh, okay. That's cool. Heal some of our health. Yoink. Sw 
swim. Swim. Okay, we're gonna need to go back. So we need to find um what was it wait, what was our task again? It was to find a conch shell. And we've not found a conch shell. Here we go. Oh wait, yeah, we meant to I've got more mail. Who is mailing me stuff? Hello Jorts, I'm writing because you recently visited the clinic to get a checkup. It was my pleasure to provide you with medical assistance. Please do take care of yourself out there. I've attached some here. Oh, that's sweet. Home makeover. Salutations, shorts. Need more space in your den? Want to move your furniture? I'm your mole. Summon, uh, summon me at any time from inside your den. I'll be right there to help. Anytime they... Okay, cool, cool, cool. And then... If you're ever looking for some work to do, stop by just... Oh, cool. Okay, nice. Right, let's go talk to Coco at the temple. Ooh, cutscene, I think. Yeah. Ooh, there's reflection. <gasps> They're here! <laughs> this new temple shall bind me to the physical realm once more. You have done well in its construction. Jorts, Coco, I thank you for your efforts. From my new home, I shall watch over our fledgling kingdom. There is much to be done here in the Wildwood. I sense there are threats on all sides. While I'll do everything in my power to protect the town, you must understand that we will never be more vulnerable than we are today. By recruiting new recruiting new cats, we can strengthen our community and better our chances of survival. This must be our highest priority. How do I do that? Oh! Hello? Oh my god. It's beautiful. What exactly is it? <laughs> Amen. Me, me and Coco on the same page. Very, very cute pixel art. What the fuck is it though? This is the pillar of the wildwood. I have created this powerful object to help us locate and recruit new residents to the Owlbad Kingdom. There are cats of all varieties who dwell in solitude near the wildwood. They will join us when they see that we are together. That together we are stronger than we ever could be alone. Use the pillar of Wildwood to discover new cats to recruit to the kingdom. Each cat has different needs that must be met before they may be recruited. By donating the correct items, you can fulfil those needs. Some cats, once recruited, will use their unique talents to provide new services in town. All will strengthen the power of our community. Every new resident is a victory to be celebrated. This is important work, George. Please visit the Pillar of the Wildwood often. Ooh. Ooh, okay, okay. And I, I know it's just like. A port? Is this a portal? This is the new game portal. Glancing inside, you can see a multitude of fractured realities dancing in cosmic smell. Swell. You cannot use the new game portal. You must have at least one kitten that has reached the max body level. Okay. No idea what that's about. The good thing about this game is that for the most part, I have very much keep them to myself. Like, I haven't watched most of the dev blogs or trailers because I wanted it to be a fresh experience. What is this room? Hey. Is this like a bunch of statues of dead cats? What what is this? Oh wait, I think I might know what this is. Oh, I think this was like the backers. Oh, this is so cool. Like, 
Well, I'm guessing this is like um, for people who donated a certain amount of money to the game, they could be put in here with quotes. That's so cool. That's awesome. Right, let's see if we can actually. I doubt it, but we can see. Oh, oh. Oh, we definitely want the museum since we can do stuff. Okay. Okay, awesome. When squads, I'm guessing, is like. Okay, okay, cool. Okay, cool. You get two cats from this one? Nice. <laughs> right. On that, on that, lucky night. It's getting quite late. 8 to 8 20 pm. We should probably head to bed. I, where's my house? There it is. See, I might move my house and put the temple here. Because that just makes more sense. Okay. Now let's have... Go to sleep. And I think we'll leave today's video here. the fuck okay never mind we're not leaving the days vi today's videos here hello why are you green <laughs> you i must speak with you you think yourself mighty you think yourself safe young jorts you are not welcome here interloper leave these lands or face the wrath of the wild wood your kingdom shall suffer if you do not heed these words. Do not test my patience. Be gone or beware. Gate progress auto-saved. Hmm. What a frightening dream. I should speak with the forest guardian at the temple about this. Well, on that lovely note, I think I'll be leaving it here. I'm sure that's nothing to worry about. I'm sure it's fine. <laughs> oh, crying. That was that was that was a bit of a jump scare. I did not expect to have a random dream of a scary green tiger. Anyways, <laughs> thank you everyone who watched this video, and thank you Snake for popping in the Discord live stream. Um, the rest of the my cat towers journey will be streamed on Twitch. I just wanted to mix it up and make a video for once. So if you want to follow Jort's journey, be sure to head over to my Twitch. It will be linked in the description below. Um, and join the Discord as well because I'll definitely be doing more Discord streams. Where just tiny fun streams for people in Discord. And it's also when I announce when I'll be streaming. Alright, thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, you should probably drop a like and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate that. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.